Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex and welcome to Intro 21 vs. Intro 2 comparison video. We're doing arenas today and uh, it's a good one. I enjoyed this one a lot. I had a lot of fun putting this one together. So make sure you leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. We have been doing amazing on the channel and you guys are doing amazing supporting it. So thank you so much. For those who are from my player comparison videos, make sure you continue to comment on those videos. I will get to your suggestions and I am going to continue to make those videos as always. So Madison Square Garden, a very recognizable arena that everybody knows, everybody has seen, whether you've visited it or not. I have not visited it. I can't say the word visited, uh, but I just, uh, I, I, there's something in these screenshots that really blew my mind. I'm not going to mention it right away until you uh, might notice it. I will say it nearer to the end of the video, but it just blew me away when I, when I started to notice it. So, as you know, the ice surface and the lighting has been the biggest change in the game. And for good reason. I mean, look at these screenshots. It's a great look. It's a great feeling. And even when you're playing the game uh, from a top-down view uh, and not, you know, like you're seeing it right now, it still looks really, really good. And I think NHL 22 and the Frostbite engine has been a phenomenal addition for the system, for the system, for the game, for the, d d the development team, who can now use it and build, you know, a better game. Uh, something they mentioned in the gameplay video or, or the Frostbite or something like that, one of the reveal trailers, they talked about how now that they're using the Frostbite engine, they can borrow from other games. And that doesn't just mean, you know, because they're going to steal ideas like they've stolen the X-Factor idea, which, by the way, I think, honestly, the NHL team implemented better than any other uh, EA Sports uh, like Madden. I think X-Factor works better in NHL, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but yes, uh, because they can steal from other games, they're able to uh, build less and less new things which means that they can focus on other projects rather than building up a new system every time they want to implement something. So that's going to be a really great thing. It means we could get new game modes. We could possibly get GM connected. I heard it might come out in NHL 23. Well, well you know, get my hopes up a little bit. So we're getting to the point of this video where I want to tell you what blew my mind. Because if you look at this screenshot and then look at the one that is coming up, if you don't know what blew my mind yet, then, you know, just... Take a moment. Just take in this picture for a moment, okay? Just enjoy it. Did you enjoy it? Okay, here we go. Here's the comparison. The colors. Look at the colors in the arena compared to NHL 21. Did you know that the game was so dark before? This blew my mind. When I put them next to each other, I only noticed it after that I was like, holy smokes, we've been playing a game that is so dark and monotone for the longest time and now we finally get this new looking game that looks better in my opinion it might be a un little unrealistic about how much the colors pop and stuff like that but it's a video game who cares anyways i really uh love the color scheme in nhl 22 it makes the game feel new it makes the arenas look more diverse uh it looks look how many jerseys you can see compared to uh nhl 21 it just looks better so anyways guys Make sure you leave a like, comment down below the next arena you want to see, subscribe if you're new, and I'll be continuing this series in the future. And uh, thanks for all the support, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.